Hello and welcome to a tutorial on how to use the Edison plugin on the Unreal Engine. The Edison plugin can be used with the game mode or the editor mode of the Unreal Engine. This tutorial explains how to use the editor mode. First off, open the Unreal Engine inside your Epic Games Launcher. Then create a new project and name it however you like. After it opened, click on Add New and create a new C++ class. Click on Next and choose a name for your new class. After the compiling is done, Visual Studio will open. Simply close it and click Yes to save it. Now copy your Edison plugin folder, then open the folder named My Edison Project, create a new folder named Plugins, and paste the Edison plugin folder inside. After that, go back to the folder named My Edison Project and start the file called MyEdisonProject.uProject. Every time a new project is started, the Edison plugin tests if the editor preference use less CPU when in background is unchecked. If it isn't, this notification will be displayed. Just click OK to close it. Now Edison should be integrated into the Unreal Engine. Click on the Edit tab and choose Editor Preferences. In the menu, navigate to the Miscellaneous tab and make sure that the box called Use less CPU when in background is unchecked. This will prevent the earlier notification to pop up again. Now it's time to add a bounding box. To do that, add a basic cube and adjust it to your liking. You can use the W key to drag the bounding box, the E key to rotate it and the R key to scale it. You have the option to choose a local or world coordinate system. Make sure that you have the local system selected. Rotate the bounding box so that the Y axis points upwards and the X axis points to the right and then scale it until you're satisfied with the result. After that, you can adjust the height of your bounding box using the same keys as before. To create a top-down screenshot of the scene, choose the top view. In the Viewpoint Options menu, select the option High Resolution Screenshot and specify a Capture Rectangle. After that, choose the Lit View option and make sure to set the collision preset to No Collision and uncheck the Rendering Visible option. Now you can take a proper screenshot. Go to the Perspective view, rename your bounding box and add it in the Edison tab. Select the camera in the All Classes tab, rename it to your liking and add it to the scene. Click on any object you want to interact with and add it to the scene as well. Once this is all done, start the Edison plugin. Click on the File tab, select Project Manager and create a new project. 
Now it's time to add everything in the GUI Elements tab. Select your bounding box, add the screenshot of your floor plan, click Next, then click Finish. In the 3D Objects tab, select the camera and make sure to check the option Target Point of View. This is recommended when using a VR headset. Then simply add the 3D objects you want to include in the scene. Make sure to check the Make Models Movable option. Click on the Viewpoint options and select Real Time. Also, activate the Edison camera in the Perspective tab. Now you're able to interact with the scene. If you are using a head-mounted display or HMD, click on the camera and make sure that Use Pawn Control Rotation is unchecked and Lock to HMD is checked. The navigator can use a device like a tablet or a cell phone to control the scene and move the user around. In this tutorial, however, we are using a browser to showcase the mechanics. To do that, click on Device, then click on Open in Browser. In the Viewport Options menu, you have the option to choose between Cinematic Preview, Game View and Immersive Mode. Make sure you have Game View selected. Then click on the drop-down menu next to the Play button and select the VR Preview. Now the operator can interact with the camera and the objects, while the user can look around independently inside the scene. Here's a short clip on how it looks when the navigator is using a tablet. That's it! Thanks for watching!